Hey everyone, I'm Rosie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. It's been a long, long time since I have been in front of the camera filming a video for a few reasons. The last video I posted was two months ago. I don't think I've taken a break like that ever. So I posted a video from reading week when I went to Niagara Falls, like a little spring break trip. And since then, shit's gone down. As we all know, what's going on in the world, I'm not even going to talk about it or use any names because I don't want to bring that energy into this video because I want this video to just be a nice distraction from everything else going on around us. I have also just not filmed any videos at home because I was dying with final assignments. But now I'm done school and I'm ready to bring everyone a new video. So I just need to put it out there that this is my first time doing my hair and makeup since March 14th and it's currently May 6th. I've reached an all-time low, but we are ready to get past that. I feel a hair on my nose. So, I've been shopping. Too much, some may say. I'm the one saying that. I have been collecting quite a few items since I would say 2020 started, or maybe even like February. Think. I don't even know if any of this was from January. I barely remember what's in here. Like, I'm not kidding. Um, this stuff has just been on my floor in my closet room for the year, the duration of this year. And we are on the fifth month, so it's not good. But I'm running out of space, even though I do have a entire room for my clothes, it's getting crowded. So I'm literally cut off, like cut off. There is nothing else I need, nothing. So anyways, disclaimer, not a disclaimer, for myself, I guess. A lot of this stuff was like on clearance, sales. There is one thing out of everything I got here that was full price. So props for me. So with that being said, it's time to just get into this haul. So a lot of this stuff is spring, summer, I guess, but like maybe winter, I don't really remember. So anyways, let's get started. Tommy Hilfiger is like a favorite brand of mine. Everything I have, from Tommy. It's not actually from the Tommy store. Either Marshall's, Plato's Closet, Value Village, Tilly's, thrift stores. So I got this shirt months ago from Value Village in the men's section for $9. It just says Tommy. I'm planning on cropping this. I just have not gotten around to it. But it's cute. Basic t-shirt with some jean shorts in the summer. I just have to include this because like it just makes me emotional. I went to a concert, the Lumineers concert on March 4th. It was an amazing concert. Would I have ever thought that that was probably my last concert of the year? No, but that makes me so happy, like literally so happy that I even had that experience because like I live for concerts and the thought of like not going to at least one a year, oof. I know there's obviously bigger problems, concerts are irrelevant, but like, I'm just so happy I got to go and it was an amazing concert. And so I just bought this shirt from a guy on the street. I needed this memory in the moment I was debating getting this and now more than ever, I'm grateful that I did. We got a box, got a Nike windbreaker, which I've just wanted a windbreaker for so long. I'll try this on now. Also the try on stuff all happens in the end because for my editing sake, it's so much easier. And a little fashion show in the end. It's so cute and I've been wearing it a lot and I just love the fabric. So this is one of the only things I've actually been wearing. The rest I either just can't wear yet because it's not the right weather or I've just been preserving it. So Adidas. I went crazy but it was on sale. So I got a black crop top. I have a white crop top that I like lived in last summer from Adidas. So I just thought, you know, this is my like 2020 version and a different color just says Adidas. It's got some stuff here. Cool. It goes with an entire outfit that I created for myself. So it's like a set made by me. These shorts, which I will be wearing with the crop top, but also just a bunch of other stuff in the summer. Very comfortable, like soccer shorts kind of. Bucket hat, which will also go with the outfit. I love bucket hats. Well, technically this is like my first one, but I've always loved them, just not owned one. This sweater. It was the only one left and it's an extra large, but it was such a good deal that I was like, I love oversized stuff, so who cares? A red half 
zip situation. I love the arm, how it says Adidas on it. I don't know why I've been saying Adidas like that for fun. I can't get into that in this video, that'll be so annoying. Looks cute with jean shorts. I already tried it on like that, just for a visual. And I picture myself by a nice summer bonfire because summer 2020 is happening. I got a tie-dye t-shirt dress. So, first of all, it's a lot longer than I was anticipating, but that's also because my t-shirt dresses are technically actually just t-shirts. So they're shorter than like an average t-shirt dress should be. But this is pretty long, but I still love it. And tie-dye. I love tie-dye. Tie-dye's in right now, but like I've been tie-dyeing since I was a little youngin. Got not one, but two pairs of shoes. I've been wanting Adidas Superstars for so long, so I got two. I got plain white. They're so cute. They're gonna be worn with so many things, even just the t-shirt dress. And what do you know? The same ones, but with some black on them and a little gold here which will go with my whole black shorts, shirt, bucket hat look. I've already tried it on, obsessed with how it looks. Okay, now we have this huge, huge bag with all my new stuff in it. So let's start digging. So the reason I'm filming this now is because my last order came in yesterday from Blue Notes. Yesterday was May 5th. I ordered it on April 13th. So it took a long time. That's why I couldn't film this. Plus I've just been doing a bunch of online shopping. But like I said, I am cut off. This video is to show myself that I'm cut off. Got this little tube top looking shirt, tank top. Um, it's like scrunchy, like a tube top, but it's got straps. It's very cute. I have something like this in yellow. So I just thought black is my favorite color, shade, whatever. So, and it's just gonna be worn so many times. So yeah, from Blue Notes. Bodysuit, it's so cute, so freely on the arms. Looks like this, hella see-through, so I have to figure out what I'm gonna do, but I still love it, like I'm keeping it, I just need to figure out how I'm gonna wear it. I love bodysuits, which is the thinnest little straps, ribbed, and it has like a built-in bra type of thing, if you can see that, so I feel very secure in this. And then I got some biker shorts, I've never had any. I got a bathing suit, I got three bathing suits actually. From our den, I got this one. It is pink tie-dye, very, very cute. It was between this or blue. I was very indecisive, but I went with pink and I'm happy with my decision. And this is the top. It's like a bandeau style with a little bow at the bottom, super cute. Two bathing suits from Zaffle. I honestly, what is this? Holy, I forgot about this. This was definitely January. Just these black bottoms from Zaffle, like I already said. And this cute black top, very simple, but I just did not have a plain black bathing suit. And it can be strapless if I choose, which I love for tanning purposes, of course. I'm in love with this bathing suit. I don't even know how to position. I don't know if this is the front or the back, but it's like cow print-ish. I don't really know if that's what I'd call it. With just a strapless top. This top looks tiny. I swear it fits. And then crisscross back. Can you see that? I'm just like not good. But this is literally the cutest pattern ever and I'm so excited to wear it. H&M, I got just these little headbands because I've been vibing with that headband look where, well, either you have it on normal or you have it like to here where you can't see where your hairline starts. I just got a black and gray one. I was going so back and forth all fall and winter if I wanted a vest. Oh my god, I have to sneeze. I lost it. I did not want to spend a lot on a vest just in case I decide to hate them. For myself personally, I love how they look. That's why I just was not sure if I wanted one, if I needed one, if I would use one. I went to Old Navy and I saw this one for very cheap. I think maybe $20. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. And yeah, the story's history. I really like it. I have been wearing it on walks and stuff. It looks like this. I do think I look funny, but also I just have a t-shirt under it. So imagine it's just like a hoodie. It's just cute, comfy, cheap. Honestly, Old Navy is an amazing store and I hate when people talk shit about it because they have so many good things and like Old Navy haters piss me off, just saying. This was my last time at the mall. <laughs> this is so sad. This is like a memory at this point. I got this like March 6th or something. It's just this little sweater from the garage. It kind of reminds me of a grandma. 
but I like it. I've been wearing it. It's really cute. Obviously quarantine, we're all wearing sweatpants. I have been wearing jeans a little bit just because I miss them, but I've mostly just been wearing sweatpants, obviously. So I got these little purple ones because I don't have any fun colored ones. They're all black, gray, navy, which I mean, colored sweatpants isn't essential. They're very comfy and very soft. So yeah, haven't worn these yet. I've literally just been waiting because of this haul, but I'm gonna wear these like tomorrow or something. I made a Hollister order. I got this sweater. I wanted it to be cropped. It's meant to be a cropped sweater, but all they had left was large. So it's longer fit on me, which I guess is okay. Like it's still cropped, just not as cropped as I was hoping. But this is another sweater. I just picture Nights by the Fire, summer 2020. And the hood has some fun, um, action going on here which i wasn't aware of before buying it but i'm not mad about it it's just from the hood which is a little weird but still 10 out of 10 sweater thick good quality I'm so excited about this this is what i purchased to wear with the beggar shorts so i always wanted um a large band tee but from urban outfitters they're so expensive and i just didn't know if i'd get enough use out of it but then i saw this one on hollister for either i feel like it was either 23 dollars or 16 I cannot remember but I'm in love with it it is so freaking soft I got a medium because it is meant to be like already an oversized fit it has California on it and a bunch of stuff I just like how it's like gray I like the wash of it it's so cute like this is me I just think of myself when I look at this and you will see in the try on portion I'll wear it with the biker shorts so you can see my vision from Abercrombie a really cute dress looking romper no romper looking dress yes looks like this see you think it's a dress but but bam shorts and i love the color and i just love the style and i want to live in rompers summer 2020 another reason to love old navy they have the best like dress pants fancy pants ever obsessed so I just got these basic black ones because I recently got plaid ones and I love those pants. So freaking comfortable. And you can't really tell, but they're just like black fancy looking pants. And I love them and they were a good price. And I love Old Navy. From Zara, I got this. Um, this is insane. When I went to Zara, 49 for $12. This was, I believe, February. Me and my sister went to the mall. Um, to make a return at Zara. Little did we know we were gonna be spending. But I got so much shit, not shit, stuff, good stuff, for, for such a good price, like insane. I cannot do this button up. Actually, yes, again. The sales were unbelievable. As you can see, this was $50 for 12. And I have always wanted a denim romper like this. So I was like, are you freaking kidding me? It looks like this, it's shorts some puffy sleeves and it's so cute oh my god like even if I curled my hair like this it's such a look and I was just shocked literally shocked with this price I made a little bit of random purchases just because of the price but also because I know how to use them so I got this spring looking purse this was prior to knowing we were gonna skip spring go straight to summer hopefully but this was $39 for $9.99 I was just like you know what frig I want this fun, bright yellow summer purse. Barely looked at what the inside looks like. Oh, cool. Okay, it's got a little pouch in it. Roomy, fun for summer activities, which I am ready to have. Really cool shoes for $15 from 79. What are the odds? The last pair are my size. I can't even explain how crazy it was in Zara this day. We had mountains of stuff around us. People were coming over like, is that yours? Because the store was kind of a disaster. So you couldn't really tell if something's just on the floor or it's with someone's. And we're like, yeah, like don't steal our shit. And then one girl, I was looking at shoes and then she was really rude about them because they were in her pile and I didn't know. But anyways, it was madness. It was like Black Friday. So I lucked out with these, long story short. They look like this. There's some cool running shoes, which I got these before my Adidas Superstar. So now I just feel like I'm stocked. Up. Me and my sister both got these shoes. Oh my god, these prices. $45 for $7.99. They are so, so nice. So cute. Such a summer vibe. I love these. I cannot believe this price. Just imagine with like one of my black shirts from Blue Notes with like jean shorts. 
Oh my god. And lastly, this was not on sale, but I wanted it. Me and my friends, Jane and Steph, all decided together we were gonna get these. So I was the only one who got green. And then Jane and Steph got a beige color. I think it's, um, no, it's more like a white, an off-white. We're this to Lumineers concert, so I already have great memories in this. And it's so cute, and it's so comfortable, and it's long, and it's just like a jacket, pretty much. Um, what's this texture? Oh my god. Last time I called it suede. It is not suede. Corduroy. That's what it is. See? Oh my god, I love this color. I love this jacket. I need to wear it more. I just love the fit of it. It's like long and baggy. So usually when I film these things, I go back to my room and I see a bunch of stuff that I forgot to include. I'm just gonna hope and pray that that didn't happen to me this time, but even if it did, who cares because this video is already 25 minutes. So we gotta wrap it up so I can film the try on tomorrow because I'm just too hot and parched to do that right now. So when you see the try on, just know I filmed it the next day. I'm hoping to get this video up on Rosie C Mondays. So that's my upload day. So Monday the 11th, mental math. So anyways, cue the try on. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend? For it's our last refrain. Forever young, ever strong, ever brave. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So when I'm is hella see-through, but it's so cute. This is the last item and I'm being completely honest, I'm way too lazy to do up all these buttons but you can still get an idea of what this outfit completely looks like. So that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of this year which I think is pretty achievable. Um, stay tuned for more videos because I'm not going to disappear for another two months because I'm ready for fun summer times and summer content. Manifesting it, it's happening. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, bye.